um, on Iran, uh, the foreign minister's vowing revenge against Israel for its alleged attack on its nuclear facilities. Israel's not denied this. How concerned is the White House, is the president, that the actions of an ally potentially may be derailing efforts by the White House to get Iran back into compliance under the JCPOA? Well, I think I answered a version of this question earlier, but let me try again. Uh, we haven't talked about it. Well, yet. again, we've seen the reports. Uh, we don't have anything more to speak to as it relates to the causes or who is responsible. Uh, our focus of, is, of course, on the diplomatic path forward. Uh, we have not been given any indication that attendance at the uh, discussions and the, that will proceed on Wednesday has changed. So that's where our focus is. But is there concern that the actions of an ally are derailing? I think I've answered your question. Did you have another one? I didn't think it was an answer. Okay. I'm sorry okay. to hear that. I, I've answered it a couple times. Okay. Let me just quickly follow up. Okay. And, uh, let me try in Ukraine. The Secretary of State said that there will be consequences um, if Russia continues its escalation mm -hmm. on the border. Can you give us a sense of what those range of options are? And then also, at what level does this escalation require President Biden to reach out to Vladimir Putin? Uh, well, I would say that what we've long said is that there will be some consequences that are seen and some that are unseen. I'm not going to give you a, a menu of the options. When we're ready to announce them, we will announce them and share the details uh, with all of you. Very quickly on immigration. Okay. Um, with regard to the, um, uh, the militarization of the borders in Central America and mm -hmm. the agreements that have been secured, did the White House in any way secure any, or is the White House concerned, given the record number of children that have been making this track, that they are at greater risk given the fact that these are soldiers, not daycare workers? Well, I think the objective is to deter, uh, deter the journey. And so that's why our discussions with these countries involved uh, increasing law enforcement capacity at the border. Is there a worry, though, about sort of this increased militarization given? I didn't call it threats? that. Those are your words, not mine. No. Um, we, are, we, incre we worked with them to increase law enforcement at the border to deter uh, the travel, which is a treacherous journey which where many lose their lives. I think we have to gather. Thank, thank you so much. Okay.